Okay, this video is going to be on getting rid of the CO2 in the atmosphere. Okay, you got us down here. Us, good. And up here in the air, above us, you got all this CO2. CO2 bad. We don't like CO2 because we don't breathe it. Okay? Here we are. We're smiling. We're happy, but we're not going to be if that keeps going and the whole world like becomes an incinerated ball of fire because the CO2 keeps all the heat in and we just burn up. So what I'm thinking is, well, they've already come up with the idea uh, for like a city in New York. They're going to come up with this thing where it's just one big filter, kind of clean the air out of pollutants and things like that. Air goes in. I don't know if that's particularly going to take out CO2 but I'm sure it could be modified in some way to do that. Um, one of the things, think of it this way. Here's the deal. I'm wondering, can we use the CO2 as some kind of resource? Now, obviously, as is, it's not going to work. But if you change the nature of the CO2 to something else, it's like water is just water until you add, oh, let's see, hmm, some other things to water and make soda pop. You know, or... Milk's not just milk until you add, uh, well, actually, I mean, that's not, well, you add chocolate to it, and it becomes chocolate milk. Okay, so you got, um, mm -hmm. using food ingredients, you know, you, you add a bunch of stuff to flour, and you get things like cake, cake, and, uh, cookies, and you get what I'm saying. Can something be, uh, mixed with this in the atmosphere, the CO2? Is there another element that will chemically bond with it, or somehow the ions will interact with each other, or somehow the, the um, CO2 can be changed. Like, you, you've you heard of, uh, like, two different snake venoms that separately would be poisonous to man. If you mix them, they all of a sudden cancel each other out and become non-poisonous. In fact, I don't know if it's true or not. I've heard stories that, you know, Egyptians could drink it. They would actually mix a certain combination of snake venoms that separately would kill you, and then they drink it like a drink. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe somebody out there could actually confirm that. It would be cool if it was. But anyway, it wouldn't be cool if we could just add something to the CO2. Maybe you could do this in stages. One, you chemically bond this to make it another type of element or, or another type of atom out of it. Then once it's in that state where it's changed to something else, then if you add, after that, you add a, you chemically bond it to something else, it becomes another type of atom or molecule that's actually useful that we can use as a resource. And that's what I'm thinking of. If we can, uh, now, dispersion, I'm thinking if we can have a plane, because I don't want it to look like it's part of the CO2, if you have a plane fly through here, you know, and disperse something in the atmosphere, just like those crop dusters. Maybe it can disperse something in the atmosphere. It'd be the quickest way to do it, is what I'm thinking. The plane flies through and disperses something in the atmosphere. It bonds with the CO2. Maybe it drops to the ground and can be harvested somehow or another as something that's actually useful and is no more toxic to the environment as far as creating contributing to global warming, rather. Not creating it, but contributing to global warming. Now, it's true we need a certain amount of CO2 in the atmosphere, but can this be done? There's something out there that can be combined with CO2 that we can actually use CO2 as almost like an ingredient in a cake or an ingredient in some kind of drink where, well, by itself, it's nothing. Flour, nobody's going to eat straight flour. Okay, it's never going to happen unless it's just some weird kid doing a, a dare. Who knows? But if you add mix things together, you can get people to eat all kinds of pounds of flour at a time by eating things like cakes, breads, cookies, stuff like that. We eat it all the time. But it's because it's mixed with something else. That's what we're looking at for the CO2. Can it be used as almost like an ingredient to create something else when mixed together that's useful for us? That's the idea.